If you're learning AWS, then you've probably thought about getting this, but is it actually worth it? I got this certification nearly three years ago. And since then, I've gone on to get the professional level and multiple other AWS certifications. But here is the thing. After working in tech for over a decade and helping more than 600 students learn cloud and AI through my academy, I realized something important. The real value of this certification isn't what most people think. Running my own consultancy, I see how companies actually evaluate these certifications versus what everyone else assumes. And the truth is, for some people, this cert is career changing for others is a complete waste of time. It all depends on when you get it and why. So let me break down exactly who should get this certification, who shouldn't, and what it actually does for your career. Let's start with what the AWS Solutions Architect Associate actually tests you because there's a lot of confusion about what you need to know. So it's still a beginner friendly certification, but not as simple as a cloud practitioner. And of course, not as complex as any of the pro level certifications. The exam really focuses on your ability to design distribution systems on AWS. And that sounds scary, but it's actually simple. Instead of having one big computer doing everything, you simply split your application across multiple smaller computers. And the exam tests you in four main domains. Number one, secure architectures, keeping hackers out and protecting user data. Number two, resilient architectures. Basically, if something breaks, your app can keep running. Number three, high performing architectures. Your app stays fast even when thousands of people use it at once. And number four, cost optimized architectures not wasting money on resources that you don't need. The exam is 130 minutes long with 65 scenario-based questions. These aren't just memorization questions. They give you real situations like a startup needs to handle sudden traffic spikes during product launches, what's the best approach? And the question that you're probably wondering is, will this alone be enough to land me a job? Because ultimately that determines whether it's actually worth getting. And the answer is uh, no, not by itself. But if you're serious about cloud and want to break into this career, then the certification will provide you with a more complete understanding of how AWS services work together. The key word there is together, because unlike the cloud practitioner, which just teaches you what each AWS service does individually, this one teaches you how to combine them into actual working solutions. But knowing what the exam covers is just the first step you need to figure out if it aligns with your specific situation. And there is three factors to consider. First one is your career goals and objectives. Does this certification align with your long-term career path? The second factor is market demand and trends. Is the certification valued by employers in 2026? The third factor is cost and time investment. How much does this certification cost and is it worth the time that you will spend. Let's start off with the first factor, which is career goals and objectives. If your goal is to become a solutions architect, cloud engineer, DevOps engineer, or any technical role that requires designing AWS architectures and infrastructure, then yes, the solutions architect associate certification does have value. Just remember that the certification will only validate your theoretical knowledge. And in order to actually maximize your chances to landing a cloud job, then you need to gain some hands-on experience and build real cloud projects to show employers that you are job ready. This certification is also useful for any existing IT professionals who want to understand cloud computing better. For example, if you are a developer, understanding how your code will be deployed, scaled, and secured in AWS makes you significantly more valuable. And if you're already in cloud, but don't have AWS knowledge, then this will help you bridge that gap as well. Okay, another factor is market demand and trends, because if you're investing time and money, then you want to first make sure that it's useful and relevant, right? Well, with all of the changes happening with AI and cloud in 2026, it's really important to look at the data. The cloud computing market is projected to explode in growth from 900 billion to over $5.4 trillion in the next decade. AWS is still the leading cloud provider with about 32% market share, more than 90% of Fortune 100 companies companies use AWS services. And when I looked at the job postings today, Solutions Architect Associate is mentioned in about 30 to 40% of cloud engineering roles. So having this certification will definitely help you screen past those HR filters that hiring managers set. But it's worth keeping in mind that the market demand varies by your location, right? So if you are in a global tech hub like Silicon Valley, then there's going to be way more opportunities for you than if you were in a small town in England, for example. The third factor that I would consider is time and cost investment. Now the exam fee for the AWS Solutions Architect Associate is $150. But here is a pro tip. If you pass a cloud practitioner or any other AWS certification, you get a 50% discount voucher, making only $75. In terms of time investment, AWS recommends one year of hands-on experience, but to me, that's honestly an overkill. If you are a complete beginner with real focused study, you can pass the exam in just three to four weeks. 
So yeah, don't view that one year experience that Ava suggests as a barrier because it's not. So after looking at these three factors, let me give you my honest thoughts on the pros and cons of this certification. Now look, there's definitely value here. The biggest thing is it really does teach you to stop looking at AWS services in isolation and actually start understanding how they work together as complete solutions. It also adds some real credibility to your resume, which can help you get your foot in the door when it comes to landing interviews. And I think the biggest positive is the confidence that it builds within you. After passing this exam, you feel way more comfortable with cloud and you don't feel like an imposter. I know that's what it did for me, but I do think having this certification can also give you a full sense of expertise. I've interviewed so many candidates who have this certification, but when I asked them to talk me through a project that they've built, or just simply explain why they choose one service over another, they freeze. They know the theory, but they've never actually built anything real. That said, if you already have a couple years of hands-on AWS experience and you've built some projects, then I actually recommend skipping this certification and going straight for the professional and then a specialty certification. Now, if you've decided that this certification is right for you, then I want to save you months of preparation time because most people are preparing for this exam the wrong way. You see, I know the stress and effort that it takes to pass certification exams. I've done them myself and people always ask me how I got my AWS certifications in such a short time frame. Was I already an AWS expert? No. Did I have tons of free time? Definitely not. See, most people buy a 40 hour Udemy course and then they take notes in Notion, make flashcards on another platform and buy individual mock exams and then use ChatGPT whenever they can, jumping between five to six different tools. And at this point, I realized something crucial. Why was I re-watching videos about concepts that I already knew? So I developed a system. First, I figured out what I already knew. This alone saved me 60 hours. Then I'd focus only on my weak spots. No time wasted on stuff I already understood. Then I would practice questions and do active recall every single day. I tracked my readiness daily so I knew exactly when I was ready to book the exam. It wasn't about studying harder. It was actually about studying smarter. This system has worked so well that over the last two years, me and my team of engineers have quietly been building it into a platform. The same system that has allowed me to pass my ADO certifications 10 times faster has now been built into a platform that combines everything that you need in one place. That's why it's a great pleasure that I want to introduce to you StudyTech AI. Pass your AWS certifications in weeks and not months. You get note-taking capabilities just like you do with Notion. You can create and review flashcards like you would in Quizlet. And you get unlimited mock exams, unlike other platforms where you have to pay for each mock exam separately. And more importantly, you get AI personalized learning, which identifies your weak areas and focuses your study time on what you don't know, not what you already understand. You no longer have to juggle between multiple tools and pay for separate subscriptions. And it's the only platform in the world which focuses on exactly what you need to study and your knowledge gaps, thanks to our AI recommendation engine. And right now I am running a special launch promotion with a big discount for anyone who signs up. So if you're interested, just click the link in the description right now and go check it out. So is the AWS Solutions Architect Associate actually worth it? Yes but with some caveats. It's worth it if you understand what it actually provides. Structured learning builds your confidence and helps you pass HR filters. It's not worth it if you expect it to magically get you a job or make you an expert because certifications are just one piece of the big puzzle. You have to combine this with real hands-on projects so it becomes truly valuable. Now, whether you decide to get it or not, remember that the goal isn't collecting certifications. It's actually about becoming someone who can design and build solutions that solve real business problems. The certification can help with that journey, but it's not the journey itself. And if you want to pass any AWS certification 10 times faster, then check out studytech.ai, link in the description for my launch discount. And as always, good luck. I'm rooting for you.